how to let people say whatever, you know, you famous now, whatever. But it's just something, like, I just can't keep letting. I'm just so, like, like, I, like again, I've been working on, I don't have to prove myself to nobody. We don't have to. But it's just dumbass comments, bro. Like, I appreciate, let me first say that I appreciate everybody that, Posted about cinnamon and sent text messages and DMs and really, really sent that energy our way because what what we just went through, and what she really went through, is like unbelievable. You know what I'm saying? That like for people to just be writing, tagging me and to saying it's for clout and making this up and like. It's just like unbelievable, bro. It's like, bro, I'm on TV, bro. I, what? I don't need more, like, like. And there's people. I'm saying people that you know, even though that don't shouldn't even matter. But I'm just, y'all know me. I'm just the type to. It's hard for me to block stuff off. Like it's hard for me to just let comments slide. It's hard. So it's just like, I got better at it, but it's like I can't keep letting y'all sit up his or the few people thinking my girlfriend just up here promoting for an album that I bro, I'm not even no I'm a f- new rapper man I'ma sell a hundred copies like I'm not finna do all this for no promote no album bro like but I do also wanna just let y'all know like what happened. You know like I'm not if I was really trying to be clout and do it for clout, I would have just saved this story for the radio or any, you know, like, use the, I just want to let, I'm just going to say this once, and this is the last time I'm going to ever even say this, you know, this is the last time I'm going to ever even say this story, bro, I just want to, I don't mind putting my life out there, like, let people inside know what's going on and keeping, because a lot of people out there that care for us, so that's the reason why I post and say thanks all at once, because that don't bother me, I know a lot of people in the in the in the in the um in the public eye, you know, it's secretive with they stuff, and I'm starting to see exactly why, you know, but I'm getting better at it or whatever. But I'm just gonna say this, like, so of course, you know, I was out of town, you know, and I was I was just leaving a basketball gym or whatever. It was like midnight. I was out of town, my little brother, and then we was playing basketball, and you know, I said I got home, where well, I got to his house. I was gonna get in the shower. It was like 12:30 in Kansas City time. It was like 12 o'clock in Kansas City time, one o'clock Atlanta time, and I'm like, um, I'm finna, I'm finna get in the shower. I said, you know what? Let me just call Cinnamon to see what she, you know. I know she's sleeping. Let me wake up and bother her. Let me, let me call Cinnamon. You know, I just happened to FaceTime her before I got in the shower. You know, and she, she answered. I'm like, what's up, baby? She like, it's funny you just called me. I'm like, well, what happened? She said, I just jumped out of my sleep. I'm like, why? She said, Benny just started barking. I think I heard something. You know, so I, I checked the cameras. I checked every camera. I checked when she turned the alarm on everything. I'm like, baby, I don't, you, you couldn't have. You couldn't have heard nothing on thing because you know you cut the alarm on four hours ago, and ain't no, it ain't we ain't alerted that somebody was outside the cameras or nothing. So I think you just you know, if me and Cinnamon have been through a few situations where you know she kind of paranoid for some things that happen in the future. I mean it's in the future, in the past or whatever. So you know she real she always on high alert, which is cool to be too. So. I'm like, um, I'm like, baby, I think you just tripping, you know? So we just kind of talking. Then she jumped up like, so I'm looking at her, I'm like, you know, she, she grabbed her gun and by, on the other side of her bed, you know, and took the dog in the closet. I'm like, Cinna, I'm like, what's going on? She's like, baby, somebody in here. So somebody's in this house. So I'm like, all right. You know, I called my man who lived around the, around the corner. I'm like, I'm like, yo, 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 my camera's not working, bro. My camera's not working. I need you to go, go to my house. 
somebody in my house and, you know, send me by herself. She in the closet. I just need you to go to my house. You know, he's like, all right, I'm on my way. I'm on my way. So I'm like, all right, but, you know what I'm saying? I had him on the phone. I'm like, baby, you sure you hear something? She said, baby, it's getting louder and louder. I'm still looking at my cameras. I'm like, I don't see nothing. No lawn mower, the camera, I don't see nothing. I'm like, so I'm just staying calm, like, okay. I, I'm like, you know, you 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 in, my, you in my closet. We got all the ARs. We got everything in there. You're in the safest place in the house. Stay there. Stay right there. You know, so she's looking. I'm, st- I'm still seeing her face. Her face, like, she telling me to do this because they're getting louder and louder. So now it's... We came to kind of find out, you know, it's four guys. They upstairs. They going through rooms. They going through rooms. She's like, baby, they upstairs now. They upstairs. I said, baby. I said, they're going to come. I said, they're going to come where you at. I said, I can't let you go like this. You have to shoot. They're going to come in the room, and they're going to come in there. You got to shoot. You got to shoot. You got to shoot. I said, baby. I said, this is real life. It's real life, baby. I said, hey, like, please listen to me. You got to shoot. She's like, okay, okay. I said, baby, get my AR. I said, get the AR. Take it off safety. I said, every gun in there is loaded for this reason, for you. I know it's a big gun. I know it's that. But I promise you, if you just shoot that, they're going to hear that. And they, they, don't want, they, don't, they don't want no smoke. I said, get the AR. So she pulled the AR out. And then in the midst of her doing that, they kicked the they they cause her, her, her the bedroom door was locked. They kicked the door, boom, and I'm hearing it. I'm like, baby, they in there. I said, baby, stay calm. I said, you just stay right there. They gotta come to you. You don't leave that closet. They gotta come to you. Soon they come to you, baby. Just shoot. But at this time, she looking at the phone. So she looking at the phone like, I see her like this. So my little brother like, cinnamon. Look at the door. Look at the door, Cinnamon. Look at the door. Don't worry about the phone. Look at the door. But to come to find out, she got on her phone and she hit the panic thing from her phone for the alarm. Boom. The panic thing came. Boom. They heard it. Uh. They didn't care. They came through the, through the other doors. She looked at me and said, baby, they coming. They right here in front of the door. I said, she ain't pick up my AR, though. She picked up her handgun, and I, I begged her to pick up the AR because I ain't want her in no shootout with, you know what I'm saying, with her handgun, which is, you know, she got a nice gun, but I'm like, if it's four niggas in there, I don't want my baby in no, no shootout. I want her to have an AR and kill everybody, just kill everybody in there, kill everybody. That's what I'm thinking. I'm just shoot, baby. Just All you got to do is shoot. So they, they was coming. And she said, they coming, baby, they coming. I said, put the phone down. I said, I need you to put the phone down. Stand up. Away from the door. As soon as the door knob twists, I need you to shoot. Don't wait. I said, baby, as soon as the door knob, shoot. So, you know, they, they start twisting the door knob. I said, shoot, baby, shoot, baby. Shoot, shoot. She, she started shooting. And uh, she started shooting. And they shot back, and then I guess one hit her, and um, so one hit her. I guess, but when she shot, they they woke them up because they were scared or whatever. Because come looking at all the bullets and shit, they were just shooting. They was like, they ain't know what was going on. So she shot, and they ran. But I'm on Facetime on the floor, just looking up. So she, after she shot. And they and it was the shootout, it was like eight shots. Like four minutes passed. She didn't get back in the camera, didn't say nothing. I'm calling like cinnamon. Cinnamon, I'm I thought they killed her. I'm like, cinnamon, cinnamon, please go to the phone. I'm like, please come to the please come back to the phone. And I already feel bad because I always gotta travel and leave her by herself. That wouldn't went that wouldn't have happened if I was dark. I would have killed everybody, bro. I would have killed everybody. And I wouldn't even call the cops. I would have killed everybody. I would have left them in the house. They would still be in the house. You know? So, you know, um, so she, um, so she ain't responding. But remember, I called my man. 
So by the time the shootout happened, he got the he like, yo, four niggas just ran out the door, bro. I'm like, let them run. My girl, uh, she not answering. Please go in there, bro. I'm like, just please go in there. Go in there. No. So, you know, he get up there. He, she he was calling. Then all of a sudden, she got back conscious and was just like, she like, help. She like, help. I'm like, baby. I'm like, I'm like, my, my kale there, he there. I'm like, I don't know if, I don't know what's going on. Please don't eat he, he her. So he get there. She was laying on her face. She got hit. And her, I don't really know the, she got hit in her cheek. And it went out of her head. She was laying on her face. She would have bled out if my girl probably went and get there. So he got there, you know, and he, he tilted her up. And she's like, I can't feel my leg. She like, I can't feel nothing. I'm like, baby, stay calm. He there, you know, he called the cops for me. You know, and um, he called the cops and everybody came to come to find out, man. You know, I'm suing, I'm suing a security company for sure. These dumb ass motherfuckers and sold me some some sensors that only work if you lift the fucking window. I'm like, what kind of dumb ass shit is that, bro? I'm like, who the fuck needs sensors for a window that you got to just open? Ain't nobody going to break in no house from the inside. So they broke a window and got in without no sensors going on. I'm suing them. I'm suing the fuck out of them. You know, and I ain't have to do this, bro. I know I didn't. But I just went out there playing like, playing like, playing with my motherfucking baby. No fucking game, bro. No, she ain't deserve this. Take that shit up with me, man. If niggas want me, niggas want to rob me, niggas want to shoot me, take that shit up with me, bro. A girl don't do nothing to nobody, bro. Running the house and doing that kind of shit, man. Y'all know where I'm at. Y'all know where my show's at. Lead it up with me. If niggas got problems with me, if niggas want to wait until whatever the problem is, I, I, I mean, I'm going to have a flyer or anything, bro. I'm everywhere. Come see me, bro. My girl don't got nothing. She don't deserve this. My fucking girl neck broke. You know what I'm saying? Like, motherfucker, like that shit just drive me crazy that I, I was that helpless, man. Like, I, I just felt... I am watching my girl, four niggas in the house just watching my girl on FaceTime, fear for her life, and I'm out of town. That shit whack, bro. You know, I just want to say, man, I appreciate everybody. I appreciate everybody, bro. You know, checked in with her and everything. She recovering and all that. And just pray for her. But I'm saying pray for me because the, the thoughts in my motherfucking head, bro. Like, I'm telling you, motherfuckers know how. I, I don't really get to thinking, bro. I'm just going through it because this the decision I want to make, and this already, I don't know who to, I just want to blame everybody. I just want to blame everybody. And I'm just, I don't know. I just, I just wanted to say that. I just